Hey guys, what is up? I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make spinning text for your video known as a watermark and um, it kind of makes your video look fancy or protects it from people stealing it because there's a lot of leeches on YouTube <coughs> okay so first off you need to open Cinema 4D if you do not have this program there is ways you can get it just search how to get Cinema 4D on YouTube or wherever okay so now this is open you need to open the textures what I'll give you in the download link which are called custom packs and it brings up a load of textures here if you want to click ok and it brings up a load of fancy textures okay so now you want to add your text so I'll go to more graph more text you want to put what you want in there so I want energy better to have it in capitals because it looks better and you want to change the depth to about 50 because it makes it look um, I don't know better and then you want to click on the left thing where it says left and you want to put that middle so the text is in the middle then you want to hold all and move the camera around move the view with your camera then you want to change the font to some fancy font what you've got but I'm just gonna click a, um, a random font you can have any font you want now you want to choose the text just so I'm just gonna go with I'm just gonna go with that red there. That one. I like the look of it, so I'm gonna use it. I've not used it before, so okay. So now I've done that. You wanna go to where these three red circle things are, and you wanna click the middle one. Then you wanna go to the top left, and where these are, you wanna click the circle arrow thing. Then you wanna go to the screen thing where it says five, ten, fifteen, twenty and then you want to move that to 80 and then you want to spin this twice or three times it's entirely up to you but I won't spin it too many times because it will go too fast and it won't look good in the video whoops oh. just make sure it's in centre so, ok so when you've done that you want to click again the three circle red things you want to click the middle one again so it one highlights it and then you want to click play and as you can see it is now spinning so you want to hit stop now you want to go to your render settings it's very important you do this so you want you want to change frames you want it from 0 to 90 so it renders it all you can see your frames down here so you want it 90 remember to do that so you want to go to save you want to hit that you want to save it as what you want to save it but I'm just going to save it as YouTube so you want to hit save then you want to go to format change it to AVI movie or quick time movie it's entirely up to you then you want to hit the red cross then you want to hit render and it should be rendering oh it's a bit off there but never mind I'm going to pause the video till it's done ok guys now that this is finished rendering um, you're going to open Sony Vegas and uh, put it into your video for YouTube ok so open Sony Vegas 10, 9, 11 I think it works for any so what you want to do is you want to insert new video track then you want to minimize that a second 
move it over to the side uh, we've got our spinning text here you want to uh, drag it to the end of the video so it looks like that okay so next thing you need to do is go go to the bottom bars here where it says media generators uh, transfusion to explode so you want to you want to select video FX and then you want to go to chroma key chroma key then you want to select green screen but you want to drag it and place it on top of your spinning text then you want to change the color to black make sure it's fully black or it might be a bit blurry so just make sure it's all black then you want to yep like that so it's so it looks clear in the video so it's clear now so you want to click on event pan crop then you want to click zoom out so you can see it um, you can place it anywhere in the video but I uh, generally like it in the bottom right corner so you want to place it in the corner so right in the corner like that then you want to cross that off then we're going to pause this and at the end of this uh, I'm going to show you a preview of what it looks like in the video okay guys here's the preview of what it looked like in the video um, this is the first time I've done a voice tutorial hope you like it comment if you like it um, comment if you want more voice tutorials and stuff like that and